Welcome all, my dear friends. Let us continue our journey in the world of patents. Okay. So till now, friends, we have discussed up to form number eighteen and its relevant sections and rules. So today it is the turn for form number nineteen. Okay. And when we will go in detail for form number nineteen and its relevant sections and rules. we can find that there is a key term and the key term here i am just mentioning and the key term is revocation okay so uh, let us proceed and see how this key term uh, affects the respective form number sections and rules okay so let us proceed Okay, friends. Let us proceed. Friends, it is said that when you can't decide what to do, just drink a cup of coffee, a cup of delicious coffee. Okay, so here in this picture you can see a cup of coffee. But why I have given this? So let us analyze this thing. Okay. a coffee is made up of coffee beans or in powder form milk sugar water etc etc now why i am telling these things to make a cup of coffee here what does it symbolize this symbolizes friends the correct integration of all the of all the ingredients make a delicious coffee and here we are going to integrate three things here one is form number 19 section 85 and rule number 96 and we have to find out what is the common term here what will be uh, that means how a particular key term will affect all these things and what happens when we study them in an integrated form okay that's why i have just symbolized here a cup of coffee nothing else okay so uh, let us proceed for the detailed explanations of that established relations okay fine let us proceed to form number 19 the title is application for revocation of a patent for non working that means if a patent is not working then a an application for revoc revocation can be done can be applied fine so the related the related section is 85 the related rule is 96 section 85 has the title revocation of patents by the controller for non working and rule 96 says application for compulsory license etc so what we can do we can establish here the relations between the section the corresponding rule and form 19 and the we can say the keyword here is the keyword here is revocation okay and this can also be related to compulsory license because compulsory license happens when a patent is in non working position or non working condition for a certain period then compulsorily a license is given to another person and this one is known as compulsory license that we can um, uh, discuss in a separate video fine next so this way form 19 is completed we'll go to form form 19 in short why read revocation application for non working so this is the simple meaning of form number 19 revocation application for non working that means why why an application for revocation is made because the reason is non working of the patent that's all just remember these things we will uh, proceed further fine now we will go for the titles okay 
So uh, number one, we have taken the section that is section number 85 and its title is revocation of patents by the controller for non-working. Fine. The title for form number 19 is application for revocation of a patent for non-working. And the title and at the last I have kept rule number 96 and its title is application for compulsory license etc. Okay. So when we read the all the three titles, titles at a time we can find out the similarity. Fine. Okay. Now we will have a keen observation about the relevant section and the relevant rule. Okay, so please take a look at section 85 subsection 3. This says the controller if satisfied that the reasonable requirements of the public with respect to the patented invention have not been satisfied or that patented invention has not been worked in the territory of India or that the patented invention is not available to the public at a reasonably affordable price may make an order revoking the patent. Fine. Whereas, rule number 96 says an application to the controller for an order under section 84, 85, 91, 92 or section 92A shall be in form number 17 or form number 19 as the case may be. Except in the case of an application made by the central government, the application shall set out the nature of the applicant's interest and terms and conditions of the license the applicant is willing to accept. Fine. So, um, already I have explained uh, all the subsections of section 85 and rule number 96 as well. Just I have kept these two particular, that means particular subsection of section 85 and rule number 96 just to have a, um, just to have, uh, just to have a comparison. That means in a, in which way these two are related. So, you can keenly observe these things and you can very well relate this to, uh, that means the particular rule number and the particular section number and how they are connected to form number 19. Okay, I hope it is pretty much clear now. So, let us proceed. The reference is the, the Patents Rules 2003 as amended by Amendment Rules 2021 and the Patents Act 1970 as amended by Amendment Act 2005. Okay. So, friends, do you like it? I hope you have liked it. Okay. So, thank you all friends for watching my video and listening to me in the with patience and so please share like and subscribe my channel and please put down your queries compliments and comments in my comment box thank you so much again okay friends uh, try to learn more and achieve more okay so keep learning keep enjoying stay safe stay blessed god bless you jai hind